Good morning, my crafty friends. This is Lori, Girl on the Ridge. We're going to be busy, busy, busy today. It's a nice, warm two degrees outside in lovely upstate New York. It's supposed to snow. It's supposed to get all kinds of weather in the next week, next couple days, actually. So, I'm going to answer some questions from yesterday's video. <clears throat> First of all, that kit I was using, and I'm so sorry, Cindy. Um, I said it was romantic lace because I always get the names wrong. Embroidered lace from Dreams, etc. That is the website. Embroidered lace. And hang on a second because I have to clean my camera lens, I think. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, that's a little cleaner. Embroidered lace from Dreams, etc. And these envelopes that I was working on yesterday are not coffee dyed. They started out like this, and they're inked. This is the, the first coat, and it's all color ink. Vintage, photo, wild, honey, whatever I grab. It's a dark, a medium, a yellow, and a black. So it doesn't matter. Sometimes I get scattered straw. Sometimes I get wild honey. Sometimes I even put in some brick barn. Brick door. I always get those names wrong. But that's how I start the envelopes. They are not coffee dyed because of the envelope or the windows. The only ones I'll coffee dye is when I've, I get a box of 80 from the, um, the little envelopes. Like at the dollar store with no windows. I'll throw them in. And get coffee dye but my junk mail I do not coffee dye so we are going to we have questions about stenciling some of my friends have problems with the stencils so I'm gonna start out with all right we're gonna do an envelope now I bought this from dollar or from dollar store I wish uh, acrylic medium modeling paste designers I just got something off of the Amazon because I knew if it was the too thin, I could thicken it up. And this was probably maybe 10 bucks. I mean, I use this stuff. No, I had another one light and fluffy. That was awesome, but it just came in too small of a jar and I was going through it too fast. <clears throat> so what I do is I take... I only open a little because Michelle Rowe said so. <laughs> and um, I'm just going to take some out of here just so you guys can see. Now, I was using this yesterday. And it was just, a, it's a little too thin. So what I'm going to do is just mix in a tad bit. This is Plaster Paris. You can find this just about any craft store in it. This one came in like a four pound box. I'll have it forever. So I'm just putting a little tiny bit of plaster of Paris in here to thicken it up because it was just runny yesterday. So actually, I'm going to thicken it up just a little more because I want it to be really pronounced. Okay. Baby wipe. All right, now, when you do, I'm not sure what you're um, having a problem with, Deb, but you got to hold it tight. Let's do, let's do my, you got to hold it tight. And when you put it in, and I'm hoping, let's see, you can see, you're just filling all. Your um, all the holes there. Try not to move it, and try not to really. I don't know how to say it. I'm just you're just smoothing it over. And the words again. Try not to move it whatsoever. I mean, you could wipe it off if you make a mistake. 
Now this is a little tricky because this is not totally flat. If I can get Paris in. I can't get that other word. All right, now I'm going to lift it up straight up. <clears throat> and there. There, that came out pretty good. I'm just going to, <clears throat> when I'm not near my sink, I'll just take a baby wipe because I really don't want to ruin these. And I'll put one underneath that and one on it and just wipe it down, especially the words. And then I'll wash them after I'm all done, but this gets out. I try to keep using it over and over again, but the words get yucky. So, all right, let's try another one. Now, let's see. Here's some big words. And I, I'll usually do it I can figure it out. Let's put that over there to dry. Uh, we'll do this over here. And again, just hold it down. I, I, I've never taped it down. I guess you could. But you're just taking about this much. You can also dye this if you want. We'll do that next time. Some of it's going on the I'm just trying to lift it, lift it straight up. Now if there if there's a couple mistakes, I don't worry about it. It's gonna get covered. But I'll show you what not to do. And I will take a piece of paper instead. And I will right, we'll use the stuff right out of the, I'll use all this writing. And we'll take the stuff right out of here and show you how thin it is. It's not super thin, but for what I want. So I just take a little Don't rub it back and forth. Don't do this. You gotta like really like you're filling the holes in the line. What's gonna happen? Maybe. <laughs> well, that wasn't too bad. See, I can't. No, I can't do it wrong. Well, sometimes it'll seep under. Let's try the bigger one. It'll seep under. And it, there we go. It's wrong. And then what I do on something like this is I just take a baby wipe. And I've done this. For my projects, because they're grungy, it's not going to ru ruin them. If you're doing something that needs to be perfect, you might not want to do that. I'm only talking from my experience. And then I'll start again. So you don't want to rub back and forth. You don't want to put a lot in. You know, it's better to go over it. But when I mean over it, means don't take it off. Just do a couple light passes if you don't think it got on. So, I hope that helped, Deb. You just keep playing with it. It's just, um, and whoever else had, um, there was a couple of um, subbies that asked. Now I'll do a, I'll show you a little inking. I, this is um, not hard. It's just time consuming. Just time consuming. <clears throat> so let's take one that I didn't. Uh, so I got, I got wild honey on there. I got a little vintage photo. So now I'm going to do a little more vintage photo, but this time... 
I'm going to spray it. Like maybe this end. And this is how you watch your inks really work. Because they really, that yeah, will go on green. I might have had something on there. But see, I don't care. It'll, it'll, it'll be fine. But by doing your water on this, the inks are really going to go. And I, I must have distressed oxide on there. It's moving. <clears throat> and that's how I get the color. You are in the back. Back, I won't put so much water. I'll just let this color go into the cracks. It's just a process, and it's you got to enjoy it. If it's, inking's not your thing, you will not enjoy this. Because inking is probably 95% of that. And then I will... Let's see. Oh, let's try a rub-on I got from the dollar store. Yeah, these at our dollar store the other day. <clears throat> but they already had three. I was too late. Let's put... I am not, I hardly, I don't think I've ever bought in rub-ons, so I'm really not. Oops. I guess I should have cut them separate before I took them off this. So let's put the mannequin dress over here. I even went back, but they still didn't have any more. Because we got two here. And this is a little wet, so we will see if this works. You could put stickers on these. Ooh, this might not work because it's wet. It ain't coming off. I need a boo boo. You know, I should have thought. That wasn't even smart. <laughs> All right. Pretend you didn't even see that. You don't put rub-ons on something wet. Let's see if I can get it off on this one. I think I ruined it. I think I ruined it. Oh, no. It's coming off. So what did we learn? Mm. Wet is bad. You need to dry it. I can't even believe I did. It. Well, it's early in the morning and it's cold. So we're just going to chalk it up to not thinking at all. That's probably why I never got rub-ons. Rub -ons. I'm too impatient. There we go. Oof. Okay, so that's cool. Oh, leave that alone. Leave that alone. And we'll put a boot on this. Just like this would be like a advertising envelope for all kinds of different things. Got your corsets and your boots. I have no patience. There we go. There we go. So those are from the dollar store. So hopefully you can check yours out. They had two. Well, they had some other ones that were really. These are the only ones that interested me. The other ones are big letters and gold. They're way too big even for envelope. Alrighty. So I will um, be back because I have another little toy. 
over the weekend I have a new Etsy shop that she sent me some images and she wanted me to see if I could do something with well I know I could do something with them because it's teacups and roses well that is gonna be pretty easy I haven't even looked at her images but I will check them out and we'll do probably envelopes since that is my whole stack of to-do list today so you guys I hope that helped with the stenciling a little plaster Paris is your friend and like I said, it'll I'll use this up. And um that's it. So we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.